Now this next surface should be a fun one. This is the kind of surface that uh, causes all kinds of headaches and uh, joy and uh, pure happiness when you finally get it right. I'm going to go to my top plane and create a sketch and just draw a circle on that. And that circle can be any old size really. It's going to be used to trim out a little section of our main body up there. So we'll go to our surfaces tab and do trim surface. And this is going to be a standard trim using that sketch. And I'm going to click in this area here and say remove selections in the trim surface dialog and hit OK. That way we end up with a hole in the bottom of this that's going to allow us to create the kind of transition surface that comes up here between these two things. Now to create that transition uh, effectively, to do a really nice surface, we're going to need several input curves to do that. Let's go to the right plane and create a sketch. And I'm going to grab my uh, spline tool. I'll just snap here and snap there to create those two spline points. Now SolidWorks allows us to take a shortcut, but then uh, doesn't let us do anything good with it. I'm going to select this, control click this edge, and click on this button for curvature continuous, equal curvature to end selections, right? So now curvature continuous but it doesn't allow me to change the magnitude of that relationship. It's just, it is what it is and I can't change it. Also, it has a tendency uh, to break on you as well, which I find kind of problematic. So the better way to do this is actually, instead of constraining directly to this edge, is to click the edge, click Convert Entities, grab the converted edge, convert that to Construction Geometry, and then make those equal curvature. I know that sounds crazy. It's a lot of extra work for no reason, but then it allows us to adjust the magnitude of that relationship, which is hugely important in this case. All right, I'm gonna make this other one vertical so we have a nice, perfectly straight transition. Make sure I'm looking at this uh, dead on. Let's go straight normal. There we go and make sure this is nice and clean and that looks good that is what I want this to look like really nice and tight up there I know it's not what the sketch says I'm departing from the sketch a little bit Hit okay that looks good alright I'm gonna go to the right plane again create another sketch this time I've got my spline tool I'm gonna to click and click and do the exact same thing again we'll make this one vertical I'll convert this guy straight in, make it construction geometry, click this one, control click that one, and make those equal curvature. And once again, now I'm able to adjust the magnitude of that relationship to get this looking exactly the way that we want it to look. Now, I'm reasonably happy with the way that those look. Now I need one more curve, otherwise this isn't going to uh, look the way we want it to, and that's this front view curve. So let's go to the front plane this time and create another sketch. And this is one of the reasons why it's convenient to have the origin right there in the middle here because we, we need all these curves for this. I'll grab my spline tool. I'm going to create a spline that's just out in space, just two-point spline floating out in space. Now to get these curves, there's no edge to convert, right? Well, if we click on a surface like this one up here, come up to the Convert Entities tool and drop it down there's another one called Intersection Curve. I click that, I get the intersection. I can do the same thing at the bottom, but I don't need to. I select that, I'll make it Construction Geometry, and now we have something to constrain to. So I can set this to be coincident and equal curvature. Looks great. Take this bottom point, and I just want it to pierce this edge, right? So let's take the bottom point, Control-click that edge, and click Make Pierce. That's a three-dimensional relationship. Note that coincident isn't the same thing in this case. It needs to be Pierce. Make that vertical. I'm going to turn on my uh, curvature combs for this one so that we can see these really well as I work this out. Because actually, it's going to OG a little bit. You can see like we have an uh, outward curvature out there coming to a sharp inward curvature, and that's okay. In fact, that's actually, I think, pr pretty much what we want it to look like. Yeah, something like that. Hit OK, and that's looking pretty good. Let's create that surface. 